happy life. He had a loving family and plenty of friends. But we all know things don't last forever. And one day, something terrible happened to Lincoln. The best friend in the world was his dog, Runner. The two were inseparable. But one day, Runner passed away. And Lincoln was so sad, he didn't know how to deal with it. But when tough times come around, it's helpful to find those around you and things that'll make you happy. Lincoln had to learn this the hard way. Oh man, I can't believe it. I lost my best friend. Oh man, brother, I miss you so much. You're such a good boy. Lincoln, are you okay? No, Bob, I'm not okay. I lost my best friend. I know, honey. I know how much you loved him. But hey, maybe we could get another dog. I don't want another dog. I want my friend back. Well, sweetie, you know he can't come back, but you can always get a new friend. But mom, it's not fair. Why can't he come back? I just want to hang out with him one more time. But Lincoln, he was very, very sick, and now he's in a better place. He's with everyone else's little lost dogs running around and having a good time. Well, I want him to have a good time with me here, like we used to. I want to go outside and throw the ball around and go for walks and all that fun stuff we used to do. I know, I know he meant so much to you. And I miss him too, Lincoln. But you gotta be strong, okay? Fine, I'll try to figure something out. But for right now, I feel really, really bad. Now, are you sure you don't want a new dog? You can create new memories with the new dog. I'll never get another dog! Stop asking me! gym class today. I'm not doing anything. Hey, Lincoln. Why are you so sad? Oh, hey, Charles. Oh, man. I'm sorry I'm crying. It's just runner's gone. Oh, no. What, he get lost or something? No, no. We had to put him down because he got old and sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But hey, at least this is your favorite class. It is my favorite class, but I don't want to do class today at all. And why is that? Because I'm sad, and I'm too sad to do anything. Sitting here crying is not going to make you feel any better. You gotta get up. Let's go do some running around or something. We'll have a good time. No, I don't want to run around. I don't want to do anything. Look, this isn't healthy. I know that you want your dog back, but... You can't just wallow in all your misery like this. You wouldn't understand. Of course I understand. I lost my dog too, long time ago. Yeah, but your dog wasn't runner. Hey man, didn't make it not bad for me. Now come on, get up, let's go run around. We'll have a good time. No, just leave me alone. I don't wanna be around anybody. I'm so tired of this. Just everybody stop. Lincoln, you're home. Uh, yeah, what's going on? Well, Mr. Jones called today, and he said that you didn't participate in gym class. What's going on, Lincoln? Well, Mom, I was just too sad. I just can't get over what happened to Runner. Lincoln, you have to focus on school. I don't want to focus on anything. I'm so sad. Lincoln, look, we're all sad, but I don't want to hear any more excuses. You have to do good in school. What does it matter anyway? I don't even have my best friend anymore. Well, Lincoln, a lot of people have it a lot worse than you do. Now you need to stop skipping classes. Well, I was at the class. I just decided I didn't want to run. That's all. Lincoln, that's not a good excuse. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Mom. That's what happened, okay? And it's going to keep happening because I'm sad and it hurts to move. 
Lincoln, you need to suck it up or else you're gonna be grounded. No, just stop it, Mom. I'm gonna do whatever I want. No, you're not. Not in my house, you're not. You just don't understand. You know what, Lincoln? I've had enough. You're grounded. Oh, you're the worst! Lincoln, what's your name? Oh man, you must be so scared out here by yourself. Oh look, there's a phone number on here. Oh, maybe I should call your owner and bring you back. I'm sure they're really worried. I'd be worried if you were my dog. What's up? Is your name Luann? Yes, that's me. And oh my gosh, it looks like you found my dog. I did, yeah. He was hanging out downtown. Just wanted to make sure that he got home okay. Oh, Sparky's crazy. Sometimes he just likes to run away. But I'm so glad you found him. Yeah, I'm glad too. I recently just lost my dog and I gotta say it's probably the hardest thing that I've ever gone through. Oh my gosh, I know it's the saddest thing. Well, you're welcome to come over here and play with Sparky anytime you want. Yeah, that would be awesome. I really appreciate it. It actually made me happy finding Sparky. I've been really, really lonely, and it kind of reminded me of my dog, Runner. Oh, well, that's great. Hey, where are your parents? Oh, uh, they're at home. Don't worry about it. Hey, look, I gotta get going, but it was really nice meeting you. And, um, I hope that I see you and Sparky again sometime. Yeah, of course. Thanks again for finding him. Oh, man, I'm so frustrated. This is awful. I don't know what to do without my best friend. Nothing makes me happy. Just so alone and I'm scared. This isn't fair. Why does this have to happen? I just wish somebody could show me how to be happy again. Oh, look at that. An animal shelter. Oh man, all those poor animals in there. They just want to have a home. They just want somebody to care about them too, just like me. Huh, saw little dude. Oh, hey. Oh man, you an animal lover too? Yeah, I am. I actually recently just lost my dog and I'm having a hard time with it. Huh, that's a bummer, little man. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. It happens. I'm just really upset. Well, look, man, you love animals. We're looking for volunteers at the shelter here. We could help take care of all of them. Oh, really? Yeah, man. They'd be so happy to have you. Yeah, I think I'll do it. Maybe that will make me happy. Oh, all right, man. Sounds good. Why don't you come down this weekend? We can get started. All right. Thank you so much. Looks like runner. Oh, 
poor runner. Oh, I wish that I could have you back. This is so sad. Hey, little man. Oh, hey, Carl, what's going on? Why are you so sad? Well, this dog just reminded me of Runner, and it really bummed me out. Yeah, no, that's fair, man, but you gotta think, Runner had a great life. He did, but I wish that he had more of it. I know, that's the hardest thing about having dogs. But the good thing is, is you cared about him, and you loved him, and that's what he'll always remember. Yeah, I guess you're right. But look, man, now it's time to make sure that all these animals get to have the same thing. You get to love them and care for them, and you're gonna make a difference in all their lives. You'll see. Really? You really think I will? Of course you will, man. You care about these animals, and they're gonna care about you. Pretty soon, all of them will be your best friend. Wow, that sounds awesome. I'd love to make sure all of them were as happy as Runner. That's gonna be my goal. That's a pretty good goal to have, man. Well, look, you're welcome to come down here as much as you want, whenever you want. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna do the best that I can. You'll see. Runner's gonna be so proud. He came down and cared about those animals more than anyone ever did. He was really happy, even though he was having a hard time dealing with Runner. He spent almost all of his free time volunteering. He was able to help so many animals, and it gave him a bigger purpose. And his favorite part was seeing the animals get a home. He kept his promise to Runner. He made sure all the animals felt as happy and loved as possible. And in the end, it made him happy again too. My day was awesome. We had so much fun at the shelter. Oh, really? What happened? Well, this old man came down, and I got to help him find a new dog, and he was so happy. It's so great to see you like this, Lincoln. Thanks, Mom. And I'm really sorry if I was so cranky before. It really was a hard time dealing with Runner, but I feel a lot better now. Well, Lincoln, sometimes we all have to go through really hard things, but it's all about how you come out on the end and I'm really proud of you that you were so productive. I appreciate that, Mom. I realized that the biggest thing in life is to make sure that you give back. It's really important. You know, you're right. It is important. I still miss Runner every single day, but I feel so great knowing that I get to help more dogs and cats and all the other animals every single day. I'm so proud of you, Lincoln. Thanks, Mom. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see some more awesome videos from me, make sure you click here and here. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that bell, subscribe, turn notifications on so that you never miss a video that I post. Thanks again for watching.